How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Good Company. Today we are back in Jackmas Industries. This is our free play mode playthrough where we're just trying to basically build a huge corporation pretty much producing every single product you could think of and just making massive profits. Um, so the plan for this episode is to start on our next product which is the cleaner bot. So we'll be designing and building that. Um, also we're going to be using conveyor belts. Exciting because I've got a few ideas for it. Um, so that should be good. If you do enjoy city building simulation and management games guys be sure to subscribe. Also hit the like button as it really does help out. I also live stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday. The link to my channel is in the description. So um, before we start there's a few things I want to do. Because um, last episode we made this a lot more efficient. However these guys over here seem to be running out of um, LED matrices quite a lot. So what we're going to do we're just going to we're gonna just add like add a new employer uh, logistics employee on that one. So I feel like there's enough LED matrices being produced. However, we'll see. So a logistics employee may sort that out. So the next thing, these guys run out of beepers occasionally, and to sort that out, we just need to upgrade the tables. However, we don't we haven't got them upgraded yet. <laughs> so we're gonna. Uh, just smash out some research. Uh, we haven't got anything active at the moment. Um, oh, what's that? Ooh, interesting. Um, this is this again. Another update has happened since I've played this, so there's a bunch of new stuff. I'm trying to think what's going to be useful for the cleaner bot. I feel like maybe this large compartment. Maybe let's start research on that anyway. So let's uh, let's actually just design this first. Create new cleaner bot. Oh, we haven't actually received, researched a, a case for it. So let's get on that. Uh, we'll do uh, bot chassis. Where is that? Here we go. I guess the plastic bot chassis will be fine for it, right? Let's run it forward as well. There's lo We got loads of like, I say you got loads. I may actually put a couple more down. I did let the game run a little bit again. Um, just to build up some money so we can build buy some buildings and stuff like that uh, conveyor belt parts research here we go so let's do that and that and well we don't mind blocking that door let's hire someone on all of these I should smash out that research fairly quickly you know what? I'm actually going to put... We've got loads of money, so I'm actually going to put a couple more down. And that's going to be our research room for now. Obviously, when we unlock the next... Uh, like, the upgraded analysis desks and research desks, then we'll... Uh, well, we'll probably have to move it to a different building, and then these could just be used to make conveyor belts, these buildings. But we'll get to that when we get to it, right? <laughs> so, they are researching away. This should be done, like, really quickly. Yeah, let's have a look. 80, 90. Oh, before we start, before we do that as well, these guys keep running out of plastic parts, and I was thinking, why are they? Why is that? But there's no, there's no, like, there's nothing taking plastic parts over to there. So, again, we're going to use conveyor belts because uh, we are making a ton of uh, plastic parts over here, as you can see, and circuit boards. Um, so the plan for that actually is just have this little bit here making modules, and we're going to split off plastic parts and circuit boards over to this section get rid of this and plastic parts over to our section over here okay so the bot chassis has been researched we'll we'll do the large compartment next uh, yes yeah, so let's get designing on this uh, new design cleaner bot plastic bot chassis create that um, so what do we need no mobility processing and data storage oh we don't even need a compartment okay so I think the small stepper motors are decent you know gives us 1.5 yeah so one stepper motor processing power we will put I wonder what that program or circuit does for us 2.8 uh, maybe a little bit overkill logic circuit no, let's do let's do programmable circuit that will last into the future as well data storage as well 
Uh, we want we want to make it like five stars, right? So register array gives us one point eight. You know what? We're gonna go with that, and we can sell that for one thousand. Oh wow! Okay, this is gonna be the clean, uh, the clean boy. Two thousand. No, nope, one thousand because it's the first model. Um, finish that. Oh, I've made it look like that. Okay, that's fine. It's the, it's <laughs> it's the uh, it's the classic, isn't it? Right, let's get going. We're gonna build this in this building here. Now, this may not be big enough, so we could potentially buy this building as well. I would like not to, but we will we will see, won't we? So, let's start with a courier pallet over. Actually, let's start with work zones, right? What I like having is a work zone just for assembly that is manual. So we'll do, we need to draw it. We'll draw that. You know what? The assembly, the assembly zone is going to be this side over here. Okay. That's going to make more sense. It's going to make much more sense. So let's whack that down like that and we'll do do that okay so we're gonna sell them on this pallet and we'll do we'll do two tables right so do that like that that like that and we'll have a medium shelf actually let's move those up one we need a courier pallet for them you know what they may they could just get stuff from the courier pallet, you know? Interesting. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then they're gonna put shelf, uh, they're gonna put the finished product on that one. In fact, let's make that a big shelf in rack. Big shelf in? Big shelving. <laughs> big shelf in rack. Okay, so that's. That's a really janky, it's a really janky assembly area, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Okay. So first of all, we need to actually make the, you know what we could actually do? Bring our um, components, uh, our components over. So plastic parts and circuit boards over. We could do that now. So yeah, let's um let's actually let's just work down and see what we actually need to bring over. So we're gonna be doing the plastic bot chassis. Oh, it needs to be in a work zone, doesn't it? I'm just gonna quickly draw out just a rough work zone. Just so we can place down some tables. So that's gonna be plastic bot chassis. Uh, it can be made on a better workbench. We haven't upgraded it yet, though. So we need plastic sundries and plastic parts. So we need to start making those. That's fine. Um, we need also register array, which I guess is on this one. So register array needs integrated circuits and plastic parts. Okay, that's fine as well. We need to start making those. And we need a programmable circuit, which again can be done on electronics workbench. Uh, circuit board, simple circuit and that, simple circuit just take circuit boards and that, so that's fine. And last thing we need is, I've forgotten, the stepper motor, which I think is on this one. Small stepper motor needs mechanical parts and sundries as well. Okay, so yeah, this is the plan, right? <laughs> it could go disastrously wrong. We're going to start, we're going to extend this zone over here, the components. And we're going to actually just make a bunch of stuff over here and send everything down a conveyor belt. Now this, again, this could go disastrously wrong. But, we'll make it work. Okay. <laughs> I should actually pick up these conveyor belts. So yeah, let's um, oh, we've unlocked the large compartment. Let's do, well, we just want to just unlock pretty much everything. 
So let's do our, we have a little electronics bit. So we just need integrated circuits and plastic parts. Okay, yeah, so we can do, we can do that. So yeah, let's get a, uh, so that there is gonna be our, our component delivery. So everything's gonna go onto that shelf and then, di and then be distrib distributed from there. In fact, that could actually be a pallet, not a, not one of those. So that's like that. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I'm not going to lie. And then we'll have this as our electronics bit. So we kind of want two tables making each of them. Need to play the game as well while we're at it. You know what, the electronics bit is going to have to be a lot bigger. Unless, okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have one whole bit just for... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to not do this, this many, uh, this many work zones. What we will do delete that delete that and make that whole thing a work zone okay spin that around like that um, so our electronics bit is gonna be over here it's gonna make two register arrays that's that's it that's it for that so register array um, there and there, we'll hire some people on that one. We've got loads of money, which is really good. We also need a courier pallet here to bring in material. Um, so that's that. We're gonna do a little section here as well. So we'll do that, 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 and that. And this is gonna be simple circuit, simple circuit, and it's going to be programmable circuit. Yep, programmable circuit, programmable circuit. Hire these guys. Now, do I need a big shelf for those, or can I get away with a small shelf? Yeah, I can get a, get away with a small shelf for that, so that's good. So that's um, the electronics bit. We just need to make... We need to bring plastic parts over and... Well, we'll continue... We'll continue building all these tables over here first, right? So bot chassis, shall we do that? We'll do that like in the middle here, I guess. That's okay. So plastic bot chassis, plastic bot chassis. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. And they can have a small, let's give them a medium shelf. You know what? I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I'm, will I have to change this all around to make it look a little bit nicer? In fact, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. All right. I, I, I like. I like this design here. So, you have two tables like that and a shelf at the end. I do quite like that. So that's that's that. And then we need the last thing, which is the small stepper motor oh you know what actually is probably a better way to do it can small stepper motor be done on that no it can't just on the basic workbench so there there we'll move this around in a sec so that just needs that i was thinking we do that on a corner shelf in the in the corner and then there's like no walking time whatsoever yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same with that. So I think I feel like that's good. In fact, move that to that side. That's gonna gonna be better. And we'll do the same over here. So like that and like that. Maybe move it up one.
like that. So yeah, that's got enough slots on it. Yeah, everything's got enough slots on it. That's, that's good. I'm going to move this one up to... Well, we could actually... You know what? We don't need that pallet there. We The conveyor belt can come straight down here and straight onto that pallet, right? And then everything will be distributed from there. So that's good. Okay, so that's that set up. We just need to... Oh, I was talking about it earlier, but never did it. Let's really just set up a new route between that and that. And that's just going to take plastic parts over there. I'll, tell you, I'll show you what this is. So it's from this one over to this one, and that's going to supply plastic parts over there. So that's that. Oh, let's start another research. We'll start with... Uh, these radio links down here won't we okay so from here stuff still needs to go on to yeah so we'll have that come down like that and these conveyor belt parts i'm actually gonna we're gonna we're gonna set up the tables first all right so First of all, let's decide what we need. We need we need screws. And we need so let's make a little bit of making screws. In fact, we could do screws over here. No, that's gonna get a bit messy, I think. I'm gonna move I'm just gonna move those as well. I don't like them being in the middle of the of the uh oh no, we can't do that. Right, let's leave, let's leave those. Let's leave those. Well, right, this layout is fine for now. Just kind of want to get some uh, some of the cleaning bots being made. So that's that. Sundries will be made over here. They're only going to one place, which is good. Uh, we need rods for that. Yep, we do need that. Mark those a little bit up this way. Give them a small shelf. Oh, we've reached milestone four. So that means we've unlocked some new tables. So we unlocked the table research. I don't know what that does. Uh, the mechanics workbench and advanced electronics workbench. So actually upgrade these now. Oh no, we can't. They are at maximum upgrades. Okay. We'll um, keep that in mind for next time. So this is... Let's hire, let's hire these guys, just so we know what we actually need on on these tables, right? Because once everything gets starts starts moving around, then whatever's left up here will tell us what we need to do. Okay. So, circuit boards. So, we're making plastic parts, making circuit boards, we need mechanical parts, don't we? I may actually move all the mechanic, like the metal work, over this side, you know? Maybe slightly easier. In fact, I am going to do that. So, let's rearrange these quickly. So, like that the conveyor belt can come around like that have a little overhead section then straight into that pallet there okay so that's good and then we'll have yeah we'll have a little metal workshop sort of thing so let's move these over here and then over there we can just do the So like that, yeah, we can just do the integrated circuits and the uh, plastic sundries. That would be a lot easier. What tables have we got as well? Integrated circuits, we'll just do one of these. That's all we need. We 
we'll whack that down there. And then we shall do... Have we got logistics people on this one? We have, yeah. Let's put in a couple more on that. And the sundries, where do we make those? Plastic ones. Tink oh, it might be only tinker table at the moment. Start some more research as well. I always forget to put research on. So brighten the sensor for that. Oh, we've got the mechanic. Uh, we've got these now. Mechanics workbench. Didn't realise that. So we can actually make mechanical parts relatively easy. Yeah, let's let's do that. So mechanical mechanics workbench. We'll put there. That can make the mechanical part. And that just needs gears and screws. So we'll put another one like that. Make it. do it like that a uh, little shelf at the end in fact let's spin around it's gonna make gears so that's mechanical parts being made because those screws should make their way onto that shelf and it's literally just yeah, it's literally just that, and then we'll start getting the conveyor belts over. Exciting times, exciting times. This actually needs to... Actually, no, that should be fine if we move it up one. I'm going to change these. I don't like these. Oh, object is not empty. Clean it up. Hopefully the logistics people know to move <laughs> to move those um move those uh, items off that shelf. If not, if not, I have no idea. Well, I can't put it there. That is because this is in the way. So if I move it that like that. There we go. That's much better layout. Much better layout. I like that. And the last thing we oh there's the last thing we need to do over here, right? So forward, let's see what's going on. They're making screws. So hopefully, yeah, screws should make their way onto that. Yeah, they have. Higher that, higher that. There we go. So they should start... Start getting into action. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so mechanical pods are being made. Sweet. So over here, we're going to make these. Hire someone on that. And yeah, just the sundries. Now, I think the tinker table is the only thing we can do at the moment for that. Which may not be enough. Uh, we'll start another research product as well. We will continue just doing like... Well, shall we... We'll do some batteries. We'll do some batteries. Uh, this one, do that. So that one can be upgraded, but we don't haven't unlocked it yet. So yeah, we'll do a couple of tables doing sundries. In fact, I'm gonna put them like that. That's sundries. Okay. Now with this, I may. I'm going to put a big shelf, all right? And I was going to see if this actually works. In fact, the big shelf is going to go there. So people can access it there. However, we're going to do an automatic retrieval segment. It's going to take them off and they're going to send down through this hole up here and 
down this way. Then we're going to do a little overhead section. So we can still walk under it. We may need an overhead section like here as well. In fact, we probably will need an over section, overhead section there, but we'll sort that out later. Oh no, we need, we need that now, don't we? You need that now. Okay, so we're gonna pop out of there. Overhead section, we'll do a small one. Nope, it needs to be a... So that needs to come out. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Right, let's get rid of that. So that comes out to there. Small overhead head section. Go around that corner. And then we'll do it to there. It's gonna go to there. And then we can actually split it off. So we do want eventually one going into there, but we won't, we, we probably won't do that that this episode. So that's fine like that. Then we'll go like that. I'm gonna have to rearrange this section here. Yeah, so if I go like that, I have another, like a medium one, is that gonna be enough? And then we'll do a small one. conveyor belt and then automatic storage segment onto there okay so that's that <laughs> now is this actually gonna work this is the question we need to send down so you're right it's got slots on here so let's send down um, we need to send integrated circuits we need to send sundries, we need to send circuit boards, and we need to send plastic parts. That's it. So let's do all of those up to the max. And hopefully, yeah, so they've appeared on there for, for now. And we'll see if this actually works, right? So I'm hoping logistics employees are gonna just start taking them over to this shelf. We shall see though, right? We shall see. Where's he going? He's going over to here. Let's check the... Uh... Ah, so I don't know. They're not actually um, connected. So we're going to take plastic parts off there because there's tons on there. Can we do that? Oh, we may have to go manual. We're going manual, guys. We're going manual. So that over to there. Circuit boards over to here as well. Integrated circuits over to there. And sundries over to there. Okay, now hopefully, hopefully that works. <laughs> yep, so we've got sundries on there now. Plastic parts, circuits. They are going along. Nice. All in a row. They're coming over to here. We are losing money now. I don't know why that is. We'll have to have a look at our production. Oh, beepers have only produced eight beepers. Oh, why is that? Oh, these guys have run out of plastic parts. Okay. Shortage of plastic parts for some strange reason. I have no idea why. Okay, so we've got... We've got stuff piling up here. Fantastic. I'm hoping it's going to sort itself out. <laughs> if it doesn't, we're a bit screwed. Ah, right, maybe... Maybe it's this bit here. Okay, I'm going to actually delete that route. So I feel like that may have been taking plastic parts away from these guys. So 
So let's have a look. Hopefully plastic parts will now appear on here. There's 100 on there. All they need to do is go from there. Yeah, so this route... Okay, so no one's taking... Out... Actually, no one's actually taking plastic parts from there to there. Very odd. Uh, do we need to, like, change something over here? I don't know. I'll try and figure that out at some point. Oh, is it because we've got manual? So, plastic parts. There we go. Right. I think that may have sorted it out. Yeah, okay, so plastic, yeah, okay, that's sorted out. I hope. <laughs> I say that, I hope it does. Yes, plastic parts have arrived on there, so that's sorted that out. These guys, there's stuff on here. course is backed up but we've got loads of stuff on here so that's fine I feel like this just needs a few more employees I hope this is working Loads of stuff's getting sent down the conveyor belt. Like, actually a ton of stuff. Oh, they can take it off that one as well. So, right, integrated circuits have made it over. Plastic... Plastic parts. There's a logistics slot for them. They're literally just waiting for circuit boards to come over. Yeah, so they should, they should, technically they should, they should get over there at some point. Anyway, before we do that, let's um, just rearrange this. I'm going to get rid of that shelf. Spin that around there. I'm not going to worry about that door. Add an employee on there. Add an employee on there. And set this one to manual. Uh, manual. And we'll do... No, so we don't want any of we don't want anything on there. We just want this one. And so yeah, that's going to be like that. Okay. Oh, and then we need a I'm just going to whack a courier pallet right there and everything's going to go from there from this one over to that one. Yeah, I think I messed this up. <laughs> I think this I've I've I think I've messed it up. This has got Okay, right, no, maybe maybe that's not what we want. We want that. Hmm. Hmm. What is going on? So circuit will need to go over to there. Zone is set to automatic connections. So circuit will should go on to there, right? I don't see why they shouldn't. Unless we do it manual. Okay, so circuit was going on to there. Plastic parts are going on to th that one? No, plastic parts need to go up to here, okay. So this one there. Nope. Nope, what have I done? Uh oh.
Okay, I think I've messed it up, guys. I think I've messed it up. So, what we're going to do... Oh, no. Alright, so these guys are making it. These guys are making it. We need a logistics slot for... Four plastic parts, right? Oh, I really don't know. So plastic parts are going on to there. But I don't know why... I don't know why they're not doing anything. While we're at it, we're gonna... Connect that up. Okay, so that guy is taking components over to there, right? Well, he should do anyway. Okay, so stuff has actually appeared on there. It's just the case that we're waiting for. That's literally it. Oh, are they making cases? Oh, they are. They are. They are making cases. Oh my god, I think it's just figured itself out. And then here, we just need to add a logistics employee. And they should pick up those, put them on there, and we've got... We've got the cleaning bots coming out at the end. Jeez Louise. That was difficult, wasn't it? Um, I'm going to have to tweak this a little bit. We're back in profit, which is good to see. Um, I need to I need to figure out how to use these properly. Um, it's all, like, the automatic logistics is really good, but there's a few things that I just, like, I just wish I could just connect... I just wish I could connect stuff up. That's a little bit funky. But anyway... We've got um, courier pallets. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got um, the clean 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 boy one thousand being made, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to call that episode a success. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, guys, remember to hit the like button as it really does help out. Any questions, suggestions, or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. If you do enjoy city building simulation and management games, be sure to subscribe. And also, I live stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday. The link to my channel is in the description. But as always, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.